Now we're back with uh, four boxes of dimes. Turn those uh, quarters in today. Got these four boxes. Um, <clears throat> this is what our silver looks like so far this year. Not, uh, not bad. Wish it was more, but you know, I always do. Anyway, push these back. This one turns around here. Open up and see if you see anything that looks like it might be silver on the edge here. Let's see. And looking at that, I don't see anything, but hopefully there's something hiding in the rolls. Be back with our first find. All right, we're 23 rolls in. It looks like we might have a silver right there on the end. That's the first thing that caught my eye. It's a dark coin over there too. Let's check out this dark one first, but mostly it looks like it's probably just a metal detecting frame that got turned in. Philadelphia Mint, 1951, so looks like we got our first uh, silver dime of the hunt. Put that guy right up there, and uh, we'll get back to the hunt, and hopefully bring him back in for another find or two. All right, box number one's empty, and we just found that 1951, I believe it was a Philadelphia, yeah, Philadelphia. So, uh, Two here open. Let's see if we have anything. I don't see anything that looks like silver, but we'll get to the rolls and uh, hopefully bring you back in for a find. All right, we're on roll 18 of the second box. And we got a Silver edge there, but I think that might be Canadian. Let's take a look, see, see anything else in there. So, there. Oh, it's the name Canadian. It's 2000. So, just a really, really thin copper edge on that one. Huh. Okay. Well. That one fooled us. I thought it was Canadian anyway, but we get back to the hunt. We're on roll 35. Um, I didn't bring in because I knew this was Canadian. It's 2007. Um, put these two edges together. You can definitely see the difference, how shiny it is, and it's how different the edge is. But, roll 35. I didn't even look all the way through the roll yet. That is definitely a silver edge, and it's looking like it could be pretty old. Let's uh, pull this back. See if there's any other nails in there. Let's see anything else. Let's finish this. And what do we got? We got a 1959 and Denver Mint. So that's pretty cool. That's number two. A 51 and a 59 so far. We'll get back to it. Okay, we're on roll 42, and I'm pretty sure that's Canadian. But you can see the difference in the edge as far as how shiny it is. And I don't see anything else in there, so let's pluck that one. Oops, so I can pluck it. Yeah, it's Canadian. And we got. 1974. So not even a silver one, but I'll put it up here with the other guys. That's two Canadians and two silvers out of two boxes. We'll get back to it. Alright, very next roll. I haven't touched it yet, but I don't know it's gonna focus for me. Guess not. Let's try try this. There we go. See it right there. It looks like it 
could be silver or it could be Canadian. So let's walk in and see. That's definitely another silver dime. So we got a D mint mark. And we got a 1950. So it makes three now. We got a 50, a 51, and a 59. We'll get back to it and uh, see if we got anything else. It's going to be a Nothing else in this one. All right, box two is hunted, and we added the two silver dimes and two Canadian dimes up there. We'll uh, pull box three forward here, get it open, and uh, if we find something, we'll bring it back in. I guess check the eggs here real quick. Don't see anything that looks silver. All right, uh, roll. 38, I rolled 39, I guess, on uh, box three here. Um, I did find this 2018 Canadian. Um, that roll just exploded, or no, 2016 Canadian. That roll just exploded when I opened it, so that's why I didn't tape that. And uh, this here, it looks like we could have a silver edge there. Pluck this one here, and it is silver. We got a D mint mark. Yeah, D mint mark there, and we got some 1964. So makes uh, four silvers and three Canadians. We'll get back to the hunt. Right, box three is empty, and we added uh, a 1964 Denver. Silver dime and uh, one Canadian up there. We'll uh, get box four here pulled up. Take a look at the ends here real quick. And I do not see any silver. So we'll bring you back in on the first find, hopefully. If not, we'll be back for a wrap up. 15 rolls in, and I missed this one in the roll. You can see the sixth coin in there that's like a really dark edge. I believe it's the sixth one. Oh. I started looking, and that's, uh, that's a 64. It's like really toned up. It's a Philadelphia. So can't really see it in here. You kind of see it along the edge. Got some toning, and uh, you know, all around there, it's got some toning. It's a really pretty dime. So we're gonna add that up here. The rest of them that gives us five and three Canadians, and uh, we still got 35 rolls left in this hunt. That box is empty, and we we'll do a wrap up here. We got a 51 Philadelphia. A 59 Denver, a 1950 Denver, a 64 Denver, and a 64 Philadelphia. So we got five silvers and three Canadians at a thousand dollar hunt. Uh, we appreciate your watching. Um, and as always, we always appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, we appreciate your subscription. And if you leave us a comment, we'll answer you within a day or two.